Number one, learn how to see the light. See the color of light, see the direction of light, see the quality of light, and look for the shadows and the highlights, the contrast in the scene. That way you can set your exposure accordingly. I have my Digital Rebel XTI set on the AV mode, and I'm going to use my exposure compensation feature to open up a third of a stop so I can see into the shadows. So remember, learn how to see the light. Number two, try to create a sense of depth and dimension in your pictures. In other words, we see the world in three dimensions, height, width, and depth. But our cameras only see two dimensions, height and width. So it's our job to try to create a sense of depth. One way to do that is to use a foreground element when we're composing a scene like this, a landscape. So we have that rock in the foreground, we have these mid-ground rocks, and we have these beautiful rocks in the background. So that's my composition. To get everything in the scene in focus, what I'm going to do is actually what I did when I took the picture is I used the focus lock on my camera, I locked the focus one-third into the scene, then I recomposed and I shot. So remember, try to create a sense of depth and dimension in your pictures. Number three, take a hike. Actually, take a walk. When you get on location, take your time. Walk around the subject. Look for all the different photo angles. There are a lot of different photo angles here. I found the best. So remember, when you get on location, take a walk and take your time. Number four, Always look down, always look back, and always look up. You know, so many people miss great picture opportunities because they're in such a hurry to get to the final location. They miss what's going on around them. So remember, always look down, always look back, and always look up. Number five, tell the whole story. Take the wide angle shots, take the medium shots, take vertical shots, take horizontal shots, and look for details. Shoot close-ups, like these beautiful carvings on the rock here. If you have a lot of pictures, you can tell the whole story, because as photographers, we're storytellers, but we need a wide variety of pictures to tell the whole story. Number six, frame it. David, our cameraman, is shooting through this opening in the rocks. This is making a much more interesting picture than if I were just positioned flat against the rocks. So when you're photographing someone, look for a doorway, look for a window to frame the person, look for some branches. You'll get a much more interesting picture, good enough for framing. Number seven, be aware of the background. The background can make or break a picture. I tell my cameraman this all the time. I don't want some object sticking out of my head. So remember, always be aware of the background. Number eight, the name of the game is to fill the frame. I'm here at Elephant Rock, one of the most spectacular rock formations in the Valley of Fire. Now, I want to share my picture with my family and friends, so what I've done is I've zoomed in, I've moved in tight, so I've cropped out the sky, the dead space in the scene, and these rocks down below that don't add anything to my picture. So remember, the name of the game is to fill the frame. Oh, here's a bonus tip. I almost forgot to tell you this. All rules are meant to be broken. You're in charge. Be creative with your photography. In this situation, for example, say you're doing a school newsletter. You want to send an electronic postcard to someone. You want to tell people in one image where you were. So what you could do is leave that dead space on the top, leave the dead space on the bottom for type, which you could put in in the digital darkroom. But in general, remember, the name of the game is to fill the frame. Number nine, raw rules. When you shoot a JPEG file and open that file on your computer, a lot of the information is thrown away, especially in the highlight areas like the sky here. When you shoot a raw file, the file retains all the information. So if you want to get the most out of your pictures, remember raw rules. And finally, tip number 10, always envision the end result. For me, photography is a 50-50 deal. 50% image capture and 50% digital darkroom work. Take this scene, for example. I can turn this into a beautiful black and white. I can warm up the picture to make it look like I was out here early in the morning or later in the day. I can cool it off to make it look like it was taken at midnight. And perhaps best of all, if there's a subject in the scene that I don't want, I can take it out. So always envision the end result.